Just last week, we announced that you can now invest in Area 13. A lot of you know exactly what we do, what we've been doing for the last several years with electric bikes, but for those that don't and are just finding out about Area 13, I figured this was a good time to retell the story from the very beginning. I have no idea how old this map is on our building, but I leave it there because it's kind of cool. Apparently it's from sometime when a Super 8 motel opened up in Auburn. I don't know, but I share that because I have been in this area for a long time. Well, my whole life, but my family has been here even longer than that. In fact, my kids are the eighth generation to live in this area. So we are definitely natives to the Nevada County area in Northern California, and I don't have any plans on moving anywhere else. I grew up mountain biking in this area, road biking in this area, so I think it's super cool that I have a test track, kind of my own little private e-bike track that I can ride around at work. Now my interest in bicycles didn't stop there. When I was in college, I went through a program called Mechatronics, and that's where you mix a combination of computer science, electrical engineering, and mechanical engineering all together and basically you make things that move and that really could be anything from elevators to moving doors to robotics or in my case electric bikes so for my final college project i decided to build an electric bike from scratch now this was before e-bikes were very popular there were only a very small handful of brands that existed they were heavy, they weren't terribly fast, and I wanted to make something that was better. And just to be clear, there was no commercial intent with that project whatsoever. It was all for a school project, and I thought it would be cool to use that bike to commute to and from work. Unfortunately, that bike has kind of been lost to time, if you will. I was able to find this picture, however. This is the Bianchi road bike that I actually converted for that class project. Fast forward a few years and I found out about a thing called a Velomobile. It is an aerodynamic, typically three-wheeled, sometimes four now, but it's basically a super aerodynamic bicycle. And doing some number crunching, I realized that this was the most efficient form of transportation that exists for the road and I believe to this day probably still is. And in fact, I started a website that was called velomobileshop.com. Now there were a couple of problems with the Velomobile concept. One is they're just kind of weird. <laughs> You're really weird. Bicycles are something people can understand. They're very easy to adapt to. A Velomobile is just a little bit too different and they're usually really expensive. That particular Velomobile was made around the year 2000. It needs a little bit of work. It is on my list to get back to one day. We're gonna make something really cool out of it. This room is currently set up for cleaning parts, but I show you this because this 10 by 10 room is where Velomobile shop first started. Every single bicycle part that I sold on that original website, velomobileshop.com, fit into this tiny room. That room is inside of this very building, which is where we still operate from today. So if I wasn't selling Velomobiles, what were we selling? Well, I had actually purchased a couple of electric bikes, and based on my previous build I had done, I knew that they were lacking a little bit. They could have better power, they could have better range, and so I started modifying with new motor controllers, bigger batteries, suspension forks, basically anything I could find to make my bike more useful for actually using it to go to and from work. And because I was active on social media groups and sharing some of the parts that I was buying or modifying, I had people asking, where did I get the parts from? Could they buy the parts from me? So naturally, because I already had this website up and running, I started selling e-bike parts instead of Velomobile specific parts. And eventually we had upgraded so many parts on these bikes that I decided, you know what? Maybe we should just make our own line of bikes that already have some of these upgrades on them. This is one of the original frames from several years ago when we first started making our own bikes. And although the parts were still coming from overseas, every single bike was being assembled by hand right here from the frame up. So I actually started 
building every single bike. Some of them were spec'd for customers' needs, if they wanted a certain color frame, if they wanted a certain type of brake. Eventually the demand got too high, I couldn't possibly keep up trying to build bikes by myself. So we started to move more of the manufacturing and assembly overseas. And now of course we have a much wider variety of bike models. Most of these are demo bikes that you're welcome to come test ride if you want to visit Grass Valley, California. Now when people started asking where did you get your bike or if they saw me riding around and asked me about the bike, telling them to remember Velo Mobile Shop wasn't the best business name for what we were doing. I needed to come up with something a little bit better and that's when I changed the name to Bolton. Now you may notice that my shirt now says Area 13. Area 13 is our website and that's the name we're operating under. That is a whole nother story, which I have a really good video on. I'll put a link to that video in the description. But one little tidbit I will share about the new name and how it correlates to our business is that I've always had a love of aviation in addition to bicycles. So all of the bikes that we design and sell are named after aircraft of some type or another. And thanks to one of our customers, we also have this canvas hanging on the wall of the Wright brothers building bicycles. And of course, in addition to bicycles, we've started carrying other accessories such as helmets, gloves, anything you might need when you first buy an electric bike. Now, a couple of very exciting things I wanna share with you guys about the Blackbird sitting behind me. This is one of our most popular bikes. We're gonna have a bunch of them in inventory very soon and throughout this year. 52 volt battery, a very nice inverted suspension fork, really nice hydraulic brakes, a powerful 750 watt motor, a seat dropper comes standard. The boat carrying our latest batch of Blackbirds is arriving to the Oakland port this month which means we should have bikes going out to customers possibly at the end of this month, early April at the latest. That will not only fulfill all of our back orders for the Blackbird model, but for the very first time since May of 2020, we will actually have Blackbird bikes in stock. And that is huge. We have two different sizes, this one with 26 inch wheels and a large frame, and then a more medium size with 24 inch wheels. Both of course are available for test rides. I've got a shipment of over 600 Blackbird batteries arriving tomorrow as well. And two more exciting bits of news. These are kind of sneak peeks at things that are up and coming. This is one of these stock Blackbird bikes that I have stripped down basically to the bare frame. I'm doing something custom with this Blackbird bike and one other and we are going to auction those off in the coming weeks. Stay tuned for more details on what we're doing here. And I don't wanna spill the beans yet on the next exciting thing, but I can assure you that there is something Blackbird bike related that I will be able to show you. I'm very confident it's going to be a popular bike this year. And finally, a big thank you to everyone that has already invested into Area 13. I really do appreciate your support. As I mentioned earlier, I have a much more detailed video about why we changed the name to Area 13, and you can find that right here.